So if there's one thing that you need to know about me, it's that I'm out of the loop on pretty much everything. And recently, I was informed by some friends of the return of this app called Yik Yak. Now, if you don't know what Yik Yak is, it's an anonymous message board that it's set to location. This means that anybody within a five mile radius of you, you can see what they're saying on the app. Now for all you boomers out there, think of it like next door, but slightly less racist. See, I live off campus, but I'm still in the five mile radius of my university, which means I get everything that students from my school post. But the thing about Yik Yak that makes it so interesting is that everything is anonymous. This means that basically anybody can say whatever the fuck they want with basically no repercussions. And this makes for some fucking hilarious posts. But oh my god, is this place toxic as fuck? So me wanting to tap into the trashy MTV Jersey Shore petty drama side of me, I downloaded the app. And very quickly, I noticed a pattern. Now, I'm pretty sure this pattern is exacerbated by me being in the radius of a university, but nearly every single post that I see can fit into one of three categories. Everybody's either A, horny slash down bad, depressed, or pissed off at one individual person and just trying to be as passive aggressive and petty as possible. I'm going to show you all a couple posts, mostly from horny yik yaks, just so y'all can get a feel for what's going on here. So down bad, my cock's been in my hand for three hours. Anal fisting, it's different. <laughs> what the uh, you ever let a pug lick peanut butter off your balls? Surprisingly, no. The fuck do you mean surprisingly? What? <laughs> Yo, I'm 5'10. Need an absolute massive queen 6'2 at least, mommy dom, right now. I needed it yesterday, B. Absolute massive queen. Yik Yak is a national treasure, okay? Don't fucking at me. I thought about including a fourth category because it's football season right now, but I decided it doesn't really apply to the rest of the year, and it doesn't apply if you don't go to an American high school or university. Basically, the fourth category is post-football game posts where everybody's either super happy or everybody wants to jump our quarterback at the bars because he goes out to drink a lot. Which is probably why we're losing so many games right now, let's be honest. Guys, the amount of posts that I've seen this season specifically, because our team is ass, that say, Ladies, do not fuck a football player until they win a fucking game. Every single week is off the goddamn charts, and it makes me laugh, but it also makes me just want to die. Like, seriously, why is that not being used as more motivation for our football team? Hey, if you win, you get to have sex. Win some fucking games, guys! Get laid! It's not that hard! And it's not gonna be hard if you don't win some fucking games! Sorry, that was a little tangent. I'm just very passionate about football. But back to Yik Yak, okay? <laughs> now, because of the anonymity factor of Yik Yak, it does kind of cause some problems. For example, closet racists and homophobes, because they're anonymous, can become not closet racists and homophobes. But usually they get shut down by the community pretty quickly and ratioed pretty hard, so that gives me faith, but still. Other than that, this app is a national treasure, and yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. I just wanted to come on and say that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this piece of shit, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day.